Hey everyone, it's Strange Michael. I hope you're doing well today. I know months ago I reviewed this entire movie series and I thought I'd be able to make it out of the theaters to see the newest one, and I didn't get a chance to, but the other day, like, yesterday, the day before, I got a copy of the movie on DVD, and that was the new Scream movie. And today I'm going to be ranking the entire Scream franchise after I just uploaded the review for Scream 5 or Scream 2022, whatever you want to call this stupid thing. Uh, anyway, there are five of these movies, <laughs> of course, and I have these here. I have a three-pack I got on my honeymoon because I never owned the original movie. I only had the VHS that my mom had, and, uh, Scream 4, and then the brand new one right here. So... Man, my thoughts on Scream. Um, I love it. I don't want to get too much into it. Um, but I think like most fans, I love the original movie. And the Scream ranking list is typically always very uh, focused on everything after the first movie. And the odds of who organizes what as what and what level they put what at this number and that number and so on and so on. Um, not a fan of the sequels. I'll be honest with you. They're decent at best. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking awful at worst. Um, and my thoughts really kind of consist, and my heart really consists with, I love the original movie, and I love the TV series. The TV series that MTV did for the first two seasons, not season three, I haven't seen it. Kind of don't want to, because I heard it got woke and shit. But the first two seasons are amazing. I love them. I think they're genuinely great. Have some of the best kills in the entire Scream franchise at all. And I cannot believe that fans don't love that TV series. It's amazing to me. It's so good. Um, anyway, uh, ranking them out. <laughs> uh, it's going to be kind of hard to do this because, of course, I have like the three pack here and stuff instead of individual like, VHS tapes and DVDs and whatnot. But uh, hopefully, you'll bear with that because it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't want to get too much into my thoughts just because, again, I have a lot to say. I'm going to try to keep it as basic as possible. Uh, let's start off with my bottom pick, the number five pick of the Scream franchise. For me, it's going to be Scream 2. I know that's kind of shocking to a lot of people. Some people, for whatever reason, consider this the best of the sequels. I have a lot of things that irk me about it. For example, it has a Cindy gone to college moment, and uh, she's in college for most of this movie, and uh, she's in theater, and I was in theater in high school, and I hated other theater kids. They sucked. I had a few friends in there that we made fun of all those kids. Um, but it, the theater kids are awful. The fact that Sidney Prescott, of all people, became that kind of person, just it just on a deep personal level, it bothered me. It wasn't anything to do with the movie. It was just a me thing. And I uh, didn't like the setting. Couldn't stand the twist. I think uh, the correlations with other horror film franchises were really stupid in this movie, particularly one part of the twist. And this is a great example of a film, of a slasher film, of modern horror, looking too clean cut. If I had to say, I'd say this is almost the beginning of that, of everybody looking so pristine and dolled up and whatnot. Everybody's wearing makeup and stuff. Uh, rather than the original movie kind of being the last of the classic type of slashers, in my opinion. Um, of course, before things like Your Next came out in like 2013 or whatever. Um, it just... Scream 2 is a very big disappointment. I don't like the way the film looks. It looks ugly. It looks like a TV movie. Uh, as does Scream 3. But this one has more negatives to it. I think there's some mistakes on the people that get killed in the movie. There's almost like it, the, the opening with the Jada Pinkett Smith, I think is who it was, and Omar Epps. I mean, that's really disappointing. That's just cringy and goofy as all hell. Um, <laughs> there's this whole subplot about Cotton, who was played by uh, the guy that played Sabretooth, and he was the first recast for Sabretooth in the X-Men movies. Uh, he was an X-Men Origins Wolverine. What is his name? I can't even remember the guy's name off the top of my head. Uh, but that guy, it kind of introduces him to the series, and I kind of like him, but he's like the weakest part of the entire film. The whole movie's just extremely disappointing. In my opinion, it is the worst of the sequels. Hands down, no questions asked. I don't know how anybody could like this movie. I don't. I think people still that were around at the time that saw the original movie in theaters and on release and whatnot... I think that they still live off that hype of Scream 2 coming out and the memories surrounding that and everybody kind of thinking, like, what's going to happen with this? I think that's what it is. I really do. Because Scream 2 is awful. It looks bad. It, it's badly written. It just sucks. I hate the whole college setting. It's awful. The theater stuff and how involved, like, the sets of that Oedipus Rex storyline is and the story. It's so dumb. I can't stand it. Anyway, moving along to pick number four, that would be Scream 3 that is also in this pack here. Scream 3, a lot of people think it's the worst of the sequels. I don't know how, but they do. Um, 
I think it's kind of been replaced with the newest one. I don't really know, but to me, Scream 3 is better than Scream 2. Yes, it has another cringy setting of being in Hollywood. It's like we keep getting bigger and bigger. We start out in the original movie of having a small slasher film in a small town. Great twists, great humor, wonderful pop culture focus and whatnot. And then we go to Scream 2 with the college setting. Now we have Scream 3 with the Hollywood movies setting, where they're making a movie, or another one of the movies, off the Stab films, which is... Uh, a film based on the original movie, or the original, uh, the original movie of this series, the Scream franchise, uh, the events that took place in that movie. The Stab films are based around that. Um, it is what it is. Uh, Scream 3 is not amazing. I hope people don't take that away from my review. I got a lot of dislikes on my review <laughs> when I uploaded that back in the day. Uh, because people, because I said it was better than Scream 2 and I still stand by that. The twist is not much better. Um, it's kind of bad, frankly. I don't know. It, it just, to me, it slightly looks better than Scream 2. It looks less like a TV movie than Scream 2, but it still has that appeal and that look to it, um, which I think really harms both of those films compared to the first film. And once again, everybody looks all dolled up and clean cut and everything. It just looks bad. I just, I don't know. It's a very disappointing movie. Not a big fan of it at all. Um, again, not much gore at all. <laughs> we haven't had much gore at all in that franchise up to, like, past the first movie. Two and three had barely anything. Uh, to be fair, three's opening is less cringy than the Scream 2 opening with, again, Jada Pinkett Smith, I think is who it was, and I think it was Omar Epps. Um, I like this better than Scream 2. It's not an amazing compliment, <laughs> but I do like it better. I think it's a decent watch. Um, it's a watchable movie, whereas Scream 2 is very much not a watchable movie, in my opinion. It's very rough, just bad. Um, the original ending of Scream 2... I think that was supposed to be in the film would have been a lot better to set this movie up with. They could have done something really cool and they did not do something cool. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed with that. It was not a good movie. Um, now, this is where it really gets tedious, the top three for this list, because this is kind of the one I think that most people are curious about at this point with my ranking of uh, how I have three and two at the bottom of the list. Um, what do I think is better? The Scream 2022 remake? Not remake, but kind of reboot, relaunch, whatever. The Scream 5 is what I mean. Or Scream 4. Well, uh, my number three pick is going to be Scream 4. I saw this in theaters when it came out. And at that time, I was a big fan of the original movie. My mom had shown me of it quite a bit on, uh, on VHS. Once again, she had the VHS of all three films. And I think the first movie is just, again, it's a classic. What can you say about that movie? Uh, but 2 and 3 were so disappointing, and then I saw that this film was going to be more of a, again, slasher movie in a small town, going back to Woodsboro. And it did that, and it worked. It had a lot involved with, like, for example, Neve Campbell, or Sydney Prescott, if she's called. Uh, her niece is played by Emma Roberts in this. You have a really solid cast. You have what's-her-face, Daniel Panabaker. Not, not Panabaker. What is her name? Let me see. Uh... Hayden Panettiere. I always get the name mixed up with those two. I know who was who, but I always get the name mixed up. Hayden Panettiere from Disney Channel uh, is in this playing a character named Kirby, and she's great. She's really solid on the flick. I really like her a lot. Um, but this movie, it just feels like something's kind of missing. I think the twist is better in this movie than in the new Scream movie, the one I just reviewed, Scream 2022 or Scream 5. But I think the movie itself is dry compared to Scream 2022. It just, it's just an okay movie. It's above the other films, in my opinion. It was, like, my second and my favorites ranking. But I think the new one kind of replaces that for most of the movie, except for the twist. Um, it's mostly kind of satisfying. It's mostly enjoyable. Again, not much gore. I think the opening of the film is very fun. This kind of plays up the whole idea of, like, uh, I think they did a little bit of remake discussion and stuff in this, and that was kind of interesting. Again, this doesn't even come close to, like, the TV series or whatever. But uh, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's just, it's all right. <laughs> like, that's how I feel with most Scream films. They're just all right, you know? They're, there's no reason to be obsessed and love them as much as some people seem to. I just don't get it. Um, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me being young. I don't know. But I'm just not impressed with most of these movies. I never have been, never will be, probably. Um, they're kind of fun if you want that weird 90s movie-looking comfort. If you just want to watch something on, like by yourself on a Friday night, you happen to be a 90s kid. Um, it has that appeal at times, but it's still usually boring. But Scream 4 was an improvement on that, and I was happy with that. Anyway, my number two pick uh, is going to be 2022's Scream, or Scream 5. 
Uh, this is not an amazing film, but I do like a lot of the changes we did with this, as I talked about in my review. I'm not going to list any spoilers, of course. I do think the plot twist is very weak at the end. But I do think the, the biggest focus of this movie is very interesting. For example, you have a young girl in the prologue of the movie getting attacked by a ghost face killer. And uh, she survives. And her sister, the older sister, comes into town. And she happens to be our main character. And she has a lot of baggage in her past. And that is great. I love that stuff. I loved two-thirds of this movie. Not liked, loved the first two-thirds of this movie. It was, the opening prologue was extremely brutal, as brutal as the old Drew Barrymore classic opening. Um, it has so much to offer with that. It's so much fun. It had some great tension in here, some great setups for really good kills, even if the kills are kind of lackluster at certain times. But I think most of the kills in this movie are really good. Um, it has some great gore in here. It's not that CGI expendables blood that we used to see in movies all the time from like 20, well, 2009 onward to like 20... 20 honestly there's a lot of that um i was very impressed and for this film to be the first one not directed by wes craven since he passed away years ago it's kind of interesting to me to see another th another scream film theatrical theatrical excuse me release that i really enjoyed and i really was compelled by and the fact that like in this film even though it's a different thing on the cover here of course the cover has our three legacy characters of uh, david arquette courtney cox and neve campbell um I uh, pointed at the wrong ones when I said their names, but still, you know what I mean. Um, they're kind of the legacy characters that they keep calling them in this movie. They're not the main focus of the movie. It's kind of the Force Awakens thing of Han and Chewie are there, but they're very much background characters. And then with Leia and Luke and so on and so on. Is it a mistake? It wasn't Star Wars. Is it a mistake here? No. I think it was the best way to go because I'm bored with Neve Campbell. I'm bored with Courtney Cox. I'm, I like David Arquette probably better than all of those characters, even though I like those characters. I'm just bored of seeing them do the same thing every time. This is more focused on the main girl whose younger sister was attacked, and she's surviving. You know, and they're trying to stop this killer wherever they are 25 years after the original movie's killings. Of course, this is a sequel. It doesn't, it doesn't ignore 2, 3, and 4. It is tied into all of those very much. But watching where David, or not David, uh, Dewey, <laughs> Dewey, Gale, and uh, Sydney have gone to at this current point in their life is great. I love those updates on those characters. It really made things matter, in my opinion. Um, the stakes are pretty solid in the flick. Again, being like Scream 4 and going for the small town slasher movie really works. And it seems like this movie made a decent amount of money, too. Scream 6 has already been, you know, green lighted green lit, whatever. I hope that that's better than this, but the biggest thing I went into with this movie as a disappointment by the end was that there were certain fan theories that all of us wanted this movie to have come true, and it just didn't happen. And it, it's sad. It's the first time we see the ghost face mask since the TV series. It's been like 12 years since Scream 4. Um, that was all nice. That was very compelling and fun. There's some clever stuff in here. It feels like a Wes Craven movie, but it feels better, because in my personal opinion, I don't think Wes Craven's all that great. I think he made some great things with Nightmare on Elm Street and New Nightmare. He wrote Nightmare 3. Um, he's got some great work out there that I really enjoy, but man, I'll tell you, I just, I'm not a fan of the guy. <laughs> he's got some great stuff. I think he's a classic director and creator, but man, he's a better producer than he is anything else. Um, he's not a great director. His films look like TV movies. They feel cheap, in my opinion. Uh, that's fine, because they probably were for the budget, typically. But Scream 2022 is a fine movie. It's a good movie. It just The ending and the plot twist is very just not for me. I just was not impressed with that. It feels like the same thing again. Uh, now, I'm a slasher fan. I'm a horror fan. I'm used to seeing the same type of thing over and over again in a franchise. Don't get me wrong. But I am saying that... Scream in particular has a formula that I don't think works as well as a typical slasher movie. This is not like Nightmare on Elm Street where you have Freddy killing kids in their sleep over and over and over again, but you have very different creative ways of doing that um, in the 80s undertones as well that made it even better, the settings and all that. But the creative ways of killing people were what, were what the attraction was for that. Scream has never had that. It's just been the plot twist of who done it, you know, which is what this whole so this whole series is kind of based on. This movie did some different things, especially with our main characters who are not the original characters. And I like that a lot. I think it really works, and it might be insulting to a lot of fans out here who see this as my number two pick on my five, uh, my five film screen pick list or ranking or whatever. I'm sorry. I just I think it did something different, 
And I'm not that guy that's like liking Star Wars The Last Jedi because it did something different. I'm not that guy. But I do love when they did here and, and what they tried here. And I really hope that Scream 6 carries on that, that torch there. I want it to do good. But man, I'm really let down. i got to be honest with you. I finished watching the movie like an hour ago and I'm really let down <laughs> with the end of this movie. Um, it just it wasn't what it should have been. For the first two thirds to be as good as they were and as strong as they were, the emotions in this movie, the writing for certain characters, to be fair, the humor and writing and the, the black humor, it didn't work. It, it sucked. But everything else really came together. I think the performances are mostly solid from everybody. It didn't go woke. It was very impressive in my opinion. I was very, very pleased with what this movie was. Um, and very happy with it. Is, it. is it as good as Scream the TV series? Hell no, absolutely not. Scream the TV series is much, much, much better. Um, in every possible way, it tops every single sequel. It's right up there with the first movie, for my opinion, for the first two seasons. Um, I think they're both completely compelling and wonderful. But that's all I have to say about Scream 2022. That's my number two pick, and I'm sticking to it, because I know people are going to get aggressive over that. <laughs> Probably in the comments and with the dislikes and stuff. Even though you can't see the dislikes anymore, I'm sure they're going to be bad. Um, but I can't help it. I like this the most out of the sequels of this current moment. And I didn't think it would push Scream 4 out of the way. I thought if the fan theories came true, it would. Uh, it did not. So, I was bummed. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you. Uh, and I, I know I should have went into the film expecting the film, not expecting my personal fan theories from on the internet to come true. I get that. Maybe I'm a little unfair on this, but... With what I got, I was able to put that to the side and say, yeah, even though I'm disappointed with the reveal, just like I am with every sequel of this series, it was good. It was a good movie. I liked it. Anyway, number one pick. What could it possibly be? Of course, it's going to be the original Scream film from 1996, right here. Uh, starring Neve Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette, Drew Barrymore. Not really, but still. Uh, <laughs> Skeet Ulrich, uh, Matthew Lillard, who is just wonderful. I love that guy. Um... Wonderful cast, perfect movie, absolutely perfect in every possible way. I love it. The gore in the movie is absolutely brutal. Some of the most unique kills ever done in movies. One of the most clever twists ever pulled in any movie ever. Once again, Wes Craven proving that he can do wonderful things. Now, I wouldn't say the directing is the strong suit of that movie, but it's decent enough that it's fine. For a slasher film, it's great. Um, but everything that should make a great movie was in this movie in my opinion. The first Scream film is a classic for a reason. They've made four sequels to this movie and a TV show trying to top this, and they've only come close to the TV series that has nothing to do with any of this other stuff. Um, I'm just, I'm dumbfounded. I, I, when I talk about this movie, every time I go back to rewatch it, the jokes still get me because of how well delivered they are. Um, and it's amazing because it shows how sharp the cast were compared to the writing. Because Wes Craven, the same guy who was involved with the writing, even though Kevin Williamson wrote all three of the original movies, and I think he wrote four too, I believe. Um, the fact that Kevin Williamson created these characters, knows how they should talk and whatnot, just shows that you cannot replicate the lightning in the bottle of the first movie with two, three, and four, and whatever you do after that. You can't replicate it. Scream, the TV series is very different. So it's... It has a lot of the unique features. The humor works wonderful. The pop culture stuff works wonderful there. It's not the same people involved. It's just not. It's not focused on Sydney and everybody else. It's a completely different type of project that started before Scream 2022 tried to pull that same card. And I think Scream 2022 is very uh, inspired by the TV series, frankly, which irritates me that everybody hates that, <laughs> as I've said numerous times. Um, this original movie is so great. We have everybody bringing a wonderful performance here, and I just love it. I genuinely love it. I think it's a classic, and I think if you haven't really sat down and watched this movie, man, you're missing out. You shouldn't be watching this ranking video. You should be taking out the time to go watch this and experience it for the first time. My mom constantly told me how good this movie was. I finally saw it when I was like 10 or 11 on VHS at my house, and I fell in love with it, man. It is just a perfect horror movie. It's probably better than most of the franchises out here alone. Like, I love Friday the 13th. I love Nightmare on Elm Street. I love Saw. I love Halloween. I love these things. But I think I like that first Scream film almost more than any of those, frankly. I mean, truly. I, that's It's hard to say that, because I grew up on the original Halloween, but I think Scream's a better movie, hands down. Um, that's controversial, I know, but that's my personal opinion, my friend. Um, <laughs> anyway, 
I love the original Scream film. It deserves the number one spot. And I think if you haven't put it at number one, that would really, really surprise me. I'd love to hear what your favorite Scream film is. What's your favorite sequel? Put that down in the comment section down below. But just importantly, I guess what... What you could do anyway without telling me your favorite of the sequels, just put your ranking down in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about what your favorite is from uh, worst to best and vice versa. Um, I think most people are going to be on the idea that the first film was the best, hands down. It just nothing comes close to how great that movie is. But <clears throat> I just, I, I don't know. The sequels are very disappointing. Even my top, you know, my number two pick, which is the newest one, is disappointing. Um... It's just, it's odd to me how, even like with, with, you know, Kevin Williamson and Wes Craven being involved for two and three, how they couldn't even come close <laughs> to how good the first movie was with that team. It's just kind of surprising. It's a little shocking, honestly. Do I want another Scream movie? Yeah, absolutely. I hope six is good, but man, continue this idea of doing something different. Bring some of the fan theories in. Some of the fan theories are better than almost any of the sequels, easily, I would say. Um... And the non-fulfillment on the fan film, on the fan theories, is what kind of ruins number five for me, like I said. Anyway, when it comes to the Scream franchise, that is my ranking. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you check out the new Scream film. It's pretty solid. I recommend it if you're a fan of these movies. But especially, man, two, three, and four, a lot of the time aren't worth your watch. Um, four is kind of okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent flick. Uh, very much more watchable than 2 and 3, but still. I can't imagine what it would have been like to be a Scream fan back in the day and be so excited for 2 and for it to turn out as that piece of shit. Anyway, what are your rankings? Put them down below once again, guys. Thank you for watching this ranking video of the Scream franchise. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll put your thoughts down in the comment section about my particular ratings to let me know. Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know all that down below. Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you, and goodbye.